Hello viewers, today we're going to be cleaning a set of AT&T cordless telephones. This is model CL8321. And it is manufactured by Advanced American Telephones. So we'll begin with the handset. First we're going to remove the battery. And we have two screws towards the bottom, which we're going to remove. going to separate the plastic back from the uh, thing around the buttons on the front like that and then we're going to remove the speaker It's actually very difficult to, to get a grip on. a little less controlled than I would have liked it to be, but that worked. Now we can remove the speaker and there is going to be a little gasket on here. It seems to be staying on this one, so I'm going to leave it alone. But sometimes those will come off. And now we're going to disassemble the board, or rather just remove it from the, from the front is these two screws up here at the top and the board itself is very simple these newer phones are all microprocessor based there's very very few uh, physical circuitry aspects to them here is the uh, dial board I'm not exactly sure how this works I have never uh, repaired one of these this new but fortunately it seems to work just fine, so I'm going to leave it alone. And I guess there's always nothing to clean on there. Here's the buttons. These come off of here? No, good. So we'll clean that up. And the screen seems to come out. So we'll clean that up. And we'll clean that. The only anomaly here is this button here, the push to talk button, which I think could come out if we really tried to get it out, but oh, actually, you know what, maybe, maybe it's not so hard. I think perhaps if I just pull this up a little bit, it'll come off. There we go. Alright, so now we clean that without worrying about that breaking. So I'll set this aside. And we'll get the other handset taken apart.
While that's drying, we'll get the bases apart. This one I'm hoping will be relatively simple. That was relatively simple. If that just broke or what, the other one seems to be missing. And this just kind of removes from here. Well, what it did. that we can clean that now and for the more difficult one the main base we got four screws on the outside corners Looks like there's one more screw under the mounting hole for the wall plate. And this mounting bracket looks like it's supposed to stay on there all the time. It just kind of flip up and down, but I'm going to pull it off for now and clean that. It's kind of dusty. And there's two more screws up here at the top. I don't think we have to undo those just yet. Let's see if this will open up now. Yeah, it's not budging. Ah, uh, okay. Let's see if I can locate where the clip is. That was one of them right there. Gotta be another one somewhere over here. anymore. Let's try the bottom. There we go. Alright, so we have a microphone that goes down there. And this can be washed. And, oh, fun, look at all the screws in here. Good grief. All right, well, let's begin. We got three screws for the speaker. We got two screws for the antenna. I guess the good thing here is these screws are all the same size, at least so far they have been. And we got one up here for this main board, and another one here, and one more over here. still all the same size. I'm going to go ahead and undo this uh, display connection here. How does this work? There it comes up. Unplug that. 
and then it should be getting ready to come off of here. Let's see the charge cradle. Actually, I'll just remove this. And that's ready to come off. And now we want to remove these screws for this board. Yeah, these are all the same size, which is really convenient. I'm pretty surprised by that, though. Usually they're not the same size. It looks like these up here are finally going to be a different size. Yeah, these are a little bit smaller. Okay, not exactly sure how they, how the, uh, display panel is going to come out. Oh, I guess that's how. And then I'll have to disconnect this. Hopefully this will, uh, let it split apart so we can wash it. Okay. Well, you know what? We'll just wash this manually, then that's fine. Uh, at least it came off as, as far as it did. It won't be too hard to just wash this one piece manually. Okay, so I'll just set that aside for now, and pull the buttons out of here. Oh, it's one of this kind of buttons. I'm going to leave this in then. And that's taped in there for some reason. Cannot fathom why, but it is. Locator button. Alright, so we can wash all of this now. Before I begin reassembling the handsets, I'm going to go through here and clean all the contacts off. It's kind of dirty, that's not very helpful. I'm going to use this uh, cleaner. Contacts on handset number one. 
or number two, whichever ones this happens to be. Contacts on the other hand set. Contacts on the base. And the contacts on the cradle. Okay. And while I have the cleaner out, I'll clean this off. We have to get something a little bit stronger if this doesn't take it off. Although it looks like it's actually going to take it off just fine. This looks like uh, hairspray is on here. Jeez, it's awfully scratched up for a base unit, but it did come clean. Before I screw this back together, I want to check and see if the speaker is still vibrating. Which of course I can't do until I get the base plug to plug back up. Well, we're just going to hope it's okay. And I'm going to screw it back together. No point putting the battery back in there, it's just going to drain out. So I'll wait until I get the base plugged up. And then I'll put that back in.
Okay, so here everything is cleaned up. It uh, is actually a little bit more beat up than I thought it was, but it's all good and clean now. Still some scratching and stuff, but that doesn't uh, impair the functionality of the unit at all. So let's go ahead and do a final check out here. We'll see if I can figure out which handset was uh, had the vibrating speaker. That one sounds okay. Let's see if it was this one. Yeah, it was this one, and it still seems to be like that. it's bad enough to worth to be worth causing uh, uh, I'm not sure it's bad enough to be worth taking it apart again well if we've gone this far we might as well try to do it to completion so let's let's go back in this handset and see there's one thing I can do to this to try to fix that and if that doesn't work then I'll just deal with it the way it is, but this may be relatively easy to repair. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this thing out. speaker holder and I'm going to uh, kind of bend it this way a little bit back so, so that it has a tighter hold as it sits in place and hopefully that extra pressure will keep the speaker from vibrating let's see if that that makes any difference This is, well, sometimes you fix one thing and you break something else. The speaker connection just came off. No problem, we'll just solder it back on. Okay, that's been fixed. So now we'll uh, try it again, and hopefully at this time it doesn't vibrate at all. Alright, there's something really strange going on with the uh, the thing here. It doesn't seem to be vibrating. Let's check out the ring. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Okay, great. That worked. So we'll screw this back together, and then these will be done. Mm. 
I don't understand why this is going directly to the outside line. It's supposed to go internally first, like it did that one time there. Yeah, something weird is going on. I don't have to look at that. Anyways, um, I'll switch it back over to the simulator and we'll make a call to the test phone just to make sure everything's good. Actually, I'll call from the test phone. Did it again. Speakerphone pickup must be pretty powerful to get that much feedback in it. Okay, that handset's working. Let's check this other one. Testing, testing, testing. One, two, three. Oh, I know why it's feeding back because this is the other phone was off the hook too. Okay, testing, testing, one, two, three. Okay, so that's working. This this uh, physical base must be used for more than one model because the microphone hole down there at the bottom, which actually has like an internal mount on the inside for a microphone, does not do anything on this particular phone. The microphone is right there which is also kind of counterintuitive because it's labeled to be right there, but that's obviously not a real microphone port. Okay, and then we'll do one last thing. We'll check the numbers out. So I think this is all good to go. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.